Uh, she likes cooking. And when you like cooking, you, you like to see your ingredients, you know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. How did the interest of cooking? Okay, um, that's planning to stay there, like in Libra. And um, I have uh, aunts and uncles who are kind of, well, not kind of, like a half Italian, you know? So we were learning like that, and plus they studied in Switzerland, and they learn like four or five languages, you know. So they speak German, uh, French, Italian, English, etc. So I was like, wow, I want to do that too, you know. How were you at that time? Were you excited? Six, that you seven, six, five, six, seven, eight, you know. And then uh, my father, he doesn't speak English, but he Lebanese. Lebanese. Okay, okay. Phrases and everything in Lebanese Arabic, you know? And I was even more surprised. No, I have another friend actually who speaks six, seven languages. Yeah, yeah. When, um, when I see him, for example, then we start switching from one language to another. One more time. Say, say, say yeah. one more time. Oh, you are a Mexico person. Oh, you are two are Mexico person. Ah, you are a Lebanese person. Yes. House was, it, it was for me. Uh, we are going to visit the Turks and, and it was kind of like uh, normal. But thereafter getting to know like uh, so more about your family story, it was insulting, you know, because they were actually trying to take all this part of the world, Lebanon, and killing like uh, Christians, you know. But unfortunately, our family left this part of the world with a Turk, uh, Turkish passport. That's why they were called like Turk. Then the France came to help, and then they got like their independence, and it was called like Lebanon. But yeah. how come, you know, like from Lebanon all the way until Mexico, it's such a long journey. It was really sad. It was a very long, sad story, you know, like uh, it was by a boat that stopped first in France, in Marseille, and then came to Veracruz or Progreso, you know, with a lot of people. Progreso, you got that? Yes. Yeah. And uh, they, they, they never met, like... Yeah, I mean, what a, what a strange, uh, how to say, different culture because you guys spoke different language and you, your four uh, fathers came over to Mexico and this Mexican language. No, they didn't. I, I mean, like, it was a big problem yeah. because as soon as they arrived in Mexico, they didn't speak like a word of the language. In yeah. Mexican people, they didn't speak anything. Correct. So, names were changed, you know? Last names, names, and everything. Oh, 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 like that. Ah, Paco. Ah, Miguel. You know, because they didn't know anything. They, they used to write like the closest uh -huh. to the sound they were like listening to. That's why many like uh, people who have even groups don't have like their last names or names or ah, something like that. You know? okay. It's like imagine Chinese people coming like a hundred years ago. <laughs> and saying like some names and how do you write that you know so it was like that so we really look forward to your house you know to eat the lebanon lebanese food made by your father uh no not really i mean lebanon is a cow <laughs> Chiapas. Chiapas. Ah, I see, okay. The language you speak is, is spoken in Yucatan. <laughs> 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 